Well, for more, Estinia University Associate Professor Eileen Unvernoy joins me now live in the studio. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank so you. Andrew was talking there about the, the prominence of Lindsey Graham in Turkey because earlier it really seemed like he was the one U.S. lawmaker that understood and actually sympathized uh, with Turkey's security concerns. Do you think that's the case? Is he that one lawmaker? Um, actually, this is the reality that uh, he is one of the very influential uh, political actor uh, over the Trump administration, especially the President Trump. Uh, as you know that after the announcement of the, uh, the made by the Trump uh, withdrawal of U.S. troops from Syria, uh, he made a visit to White House mm. and uh, he tried to convince him to reevaluate his position and then the, another uh, decision came uh, from the Trump and it was the extended date uh, of withdrawal from 30 days to 120 days. Mm. This is also a very uh, clear uh, uh, indi uh, indication of uh, how much uh, influence he has on the Trump right. himself. And uh, yes, uh, from the other point of view, this is not the only issue between the U.S. and Turkey. Mm. Uh, Lindsey Graham has an impact on. Uh, as you remember, uh, the, his position on the uh, killing of Kashyyykci uh, was quite different from the, uh, Trump himself. Mm. And uh, he was uh, also opened the way to end the support to the Saudi Arabia, uh, the war in Why? Yemen. And uh, another one, he's uh, the biggest supporter of the free trade deal between the United States and Turkey. Mm -hmm. And right after the uh, tariffs imposed uh, on Turkey's, uh, Turkish steel and aluminum, uh, he was also, uh, as you know, that he is from the uh, South Carolina. And one of the factors over there was also affected and, uh, okay. from this decision, and he was also behind uh, that. And it also uh, accepted the uh, tariffs, but it, not, not, was not happy with that uh, decision. Right. But on, some, on Syria in particular, some say Graham flip-flopped uh, in a sense because he was sympathetic to uh, Turkey's security concerns in northern Syria, re the YPG, and then all mm -hmm. of a sudden when Trump says he's pulling troops out, he says, oh no, we need to protect our Kurdish mm -hmm. friends, which was very insulting uh, to Turkey. So uh, where do you think they really do stand now. Is there any way to get some real clarity from Lindsey Graham on what U.S. Syria policy will be? Um, actually, I don't think that uh, this will change the Trump's position and decision on Syria mm -hmm. because it was the election campaign uh, commitments to withdraw troops, uh, U.S. troops from the Syria. And this doesn't change. It was just delayed. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, um, yes, there are some uh, alliances uh, within the U.S. and the outside of the U.S. Uh, who are opposed to withdrawal of U.S. troops. So uh, this is a political issue as well at the same time in domestic uh, point of view from the United States. So uh, we can also read those changes from this point of view. Uh, but the, 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 the latest uh, proposal uh, made by the U.S., uh, actually it was first voiced by the President Erdogan years ago at the Obama administration time, it was the Secretary uh, zone uh, proposal, and it's a good uh, right. uh, proposal, and uh, Turkey is also quite uh, willing to uh, establish uh, such a zone, and we'll see. And uh, mm. I read the uh, Graham's visit as to find a common ground uh, yeah. to please the uh, Turkish side as well. Uh -huh. I don't think that he's totally changed his position and opposed to Turkey's side because uh, otherwise he doesn't come to visit okay. uh, and talk to President Erdogan and the, okay. uh, our uh, minister. Island Unvernoy, we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for coming okay. in. Thank you for having me.